This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Complete After Effects template is also available on my web store, check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition, I will name it as logo animation. Time duration for this composition will be, 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. For my logo I will add fill effect. I will set the color to white. You can scale your logo if needed. Here I will scale my logo. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attributes into new composition. Perfect. Now let's add the reflection map media file to the timeline. Scale it to 50%. Now in effects and preset, search for motion tile. Add it to the reflection media. Now increase output width and height, as shown. Select mirror edge. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. Now at end of the timeline, change X position of tile as shown. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur. Add it to the reflection media. Set blur radius to 25. Select repeat edge pixels. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as reflection map. Now place it below logo composition. For reflection, change track map to alpha matte logo. For reflection, in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to the reflection map composition. For glass, in surface, change bump map to logo. Set softness to 0. Now in effects and preset, search for turbulent displace. Add it to the reflection. Now search for CC blob eyes, add it to the reflection map. For blob eyes, in blowiness, change blob layer to logo. Change softness to 10. Set cutaway to 0. In shading, change ambient to 10. Change diffuse to 10. Change roughness to 0 0.5. Perfect. Now let's add the lightning media file to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the lightning media file. Here you can set any color of your choice. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the lightning media file. Set glow threshold to 10%. Now again add glow. 
Now set glow threshold to 15%. Set glow radius to 200. Now in effects and preset. Search for exposure. Add it to the lightning. Now let's set exposure to 5. Set gamma correction to 1.25. Now for lightning. Set mode to add. Now enable the transparency. Here you can adjust the position of the lightning according to your logo. Slightly adjust the position. Perfect. Here we will create three duplicates. Place them one after the other. Now let's set the color for lightning. Perfect. Now select all layers. Pre-compose them. I will name it as Glossy Logo. Perfect. Now add logo composition to the timeline. For logo. In effects and preset, search for CC Glass. Add it to the logo. For glass, in surface. Change softness to, zero. Change height to, zero. Change displacement to, zero. Now in light, at start of the timer line, create keyframe for light intensity. Set it to, 40. Now at 5 seconds. Change light intensity to, 100. Change light type to, point light. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for light position. Set light position as shown. Now at 5 seconds. Change light position as shown. In shading. Change ambient to, 0. Change diffuse to, 0. Change specular to, 100. Now at 5 seconds. Create keyframe for roundness. Set it to, 0 0.5. Now at start, set it to, 0. Set metal to, 0. Press U to view keyframes. Select all keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now pre-compose it. Name it as logo reveal. For glossy logo, change track mat to Luma mat logo reveal. Select both composition, pre-compose them. Name it as glossy logo reveal. Now let's add the floor media file to the timer line. Change it to 3D. Now let's rotate it, change X orientation to 270 degree. Now P to bring up position, position it as shown. Perfect. Now from effects and preset, Search for motion tile. Add it to the floor media file. Select mirror edge, increase output width and height as shown. Perfect. Now pre-compose it. I will name it as floor. Place it below, hide it. Now for glossy logo composition. In effects and preset. Search for mirror, add it to the logo composition. For mirror, set reflection angle to, 90 degree. Change reflection center, as shown. Perfect. 
Now create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset. Search for compound blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now let's set blur layer to floor. Set maximum blur to 150. You can see the logo reflection. Now let's add the dust media file to the timeline. Now select the ellipse tool. Create mask over dust media as shown. For mask, set mask feather to 500. Press T to bring up opacity. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity, set it to 50%. Now at start, set it to 0%. Now change mode to add. Now change logo reveal and dust media to 3D. Now create a new camera. Create null object. Change it to 3D. Now parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position, at start of the timeline, create keyframe. Now at end of the timeline, increase Z position value as shown. At start, let's reduce the position value. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our lightning logo reveal is created, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.